But okay. Well, we're at 1045, so yeah. we'll go ahead and start. All right, it's 1045, Thursday, October 15th. I'll call the finance meeting to order. Uh, we have a few financial items to go over for Monday's town board meeting. Um, I am gonna jump because I'm gonna skip over the first couple that are pretty straightforward and move to 246, which is probably the biggest one of the evening, which is the adoption of the, the budget and special district. Let's join it. All right, so if anybody has any questions or comments on that item, and it, it all looks good based it's on the same it's the same that we talked about workshop. from the budget meeting from the workshop. The only thing that um, was just a little bit remember I mentioned during the, water, the budget meeting the um, <clears throat> the uh, insurance medical insurance. So there's yeah. a medical adjustment under the general fund, reducing that just a little bit. Uh, you can see there it's about ten thousand dollars on the medical and about uh, seven hundred dollars on the HSA, um, okay. but the rest of it is I think. Literally lines, everything we talked lines about. Lines right up with everything that we talked about. I just again want to thank everybody for participating in those budget meetings. I think we got some good stuff hashed out and had some good conversation at them. In the, um, the board meeting, can we make it clear why it's not tech staff compliant? Because I believe that was primarily from the lighting, well, the bid district. That's fire. And, and the primary two is the fire and the bid, right? The bid that yeah. put us over. So if we can just explain mm -hmm. yeah. that or whoever, mm -hmm. yep. either way you want to explain that, yeah. that'd be great. All right, so anything else on that one? All right, 247 is just the creation of the capital projects that we have discussed. It's a creation of capital projects. And one other thing there added a paragraph in there actually taking 75,000 out of the 22's budget, 16,200, and moving that over to the fire station capital project Perfect. so that we can the generator. generator. Okay. And yeah. at least there's some money in there to right. kind of get Excellent. started. Yeah, I just had them over today for a little presentation and we were talking about that. Okay. I know Jim is um, moving forward with that. He's getting a uh, contractor to come out and look at the current electrical panels and everything in the building before he actually orders okay. the replacement. So it's in progress. Excellent. So how do we fund those? How are we funding the capital project? Well, each of them right now is a dollar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then at that 75,000 comes out of the 22 budget. Mm -hmm. And then in the future, what you have to do is at the end of each year, as we go to close out the books, we'll look at That's what the right. unexpended funds are and then the town board will have to make a decision about moving money, appropriating money to those capital projects. And we're essentially intending to do most of Jim's purchasing through this, the highway road improvements one. Is that? No, that would yeah. be over and above, for instance, the uh, the D fund, the highway fund okay. for additional maintenance type improvements. But, it, you know, as I told you in the budget message, we've way underfunded yeah. it for quite a while now. So that would be an opportunity instead of having to bond or take mm -hmm. some alternative methods where you could appropriate money that's unspended at the end of each year over to the capital okay. project uh, for certain things and then you know, we'll have to create some budgets for these capital projects mm -hmm. that this just creates them essentially, yeah, but yeah. we're going to have to, as we get to that point, if there's $400,000 that you appropriate, for instance, to highway maintenance, then you also need to appropriate the expenditure side of it mm -hmm. and then what it's being used for. So. so it's basically giving us a holding place to put extra money at the end of the year and fund these going forward. Well, or we could put them into the budget for 24 if we wanted to as well. Well, so what so what it does is you've had a lot of unexpended, the town has generally had a lot of unexpended mm -hmm. funds the last yeah. four or five years. And instead of rolling that into fund balance or moving over it into reserve funds, which are very restricted, mm -hmm. it creates these capital projects in addition to the ones that we have where you know that there are certain capital improvements that need yes. to be done. And so then it allows you to appropriate some of those unexpended funds to that so that it's not in the unassigned fund balance, which then puts us out of compliance with our own policy. That's what I thought it was. I just yeah. wanted to, in yep. my first budget, I just wanted to clarify again, that's what we're doing. Yep. So you're creating those so mm -hmm. that you're not putting money into reserve, so it's more readily accessible. 
well, reserves, there's only, you can only have reserves for certain things. Right. And so we have reserve funds that actually have the money that roll over from whatever year. But this specifically, we know that we have expenses related to these specific things. So it allows us to appropriate those funds for those specific things. And capital projects run indefinitely until the project's done. Right. So okay. it doesn't tie us up with budget and encumbering money or moving money back and forth gotcha. with fund balance okay. it allows us to put it actually in the capital project so bottom line for everyone and everybody listening or kate and terry kate. who already know this <laughs> oh, kate and terry terry's kate. listening, terry's listening to i forgot kate was actually uh, let her into that so. <laughs> the, the be, i'm bottom here line. Hi, terry. <laughs> bottom line the benefit is we are brings us back in compliance with our fund balance yeah. we fund it with what we what we have at the end of the year, um, we can, like Doug was saying, if a project a project could take five, six, or seven years, and we could have those capital projects open for that time period, and it allows us to work off of those to continue longer projects and fund these longer projects, and we don't have to have a tax levy. If something were to happen, we don't have to go that route. We have this. We have a capital project, and we have it funded through that. And before we close out the 2022 fiscal year, we've got to we'll need to relook and write. Yeah, That's exactly. what I was wondering. When do we do that in January then? Gen generally, okay. we'll know, we'll essentially know. Actually, Kate and I were having a conversation. It's it's very, very possible that you would be able to take the fourth quarter sales tax and appropriate it all to capital projects that will be fully funded. And that would be huge for these capital projects, for these mm -hmm. things that right. need to be done, right? And so generally you would do that either by late December, we'll have a pretty good idea, but generally before we close out the year in January, we always do that. We have that extra meeting in January, January 30, 30th, yeah. more or less, to close out the previous year. And we would do it before that, either of that. What other things. capital projects do we have to fund that out of West? Um, well, there's there's any number of them. There's, I mean, that's in the actually in the monthly okay. report. It actually has all of the capital projects. There's a dozen plus or minus. Kate, do you know off the top of your head, Ms. or Jess? Do you know? Is there about there's about a dozen, I think, oh, give or take. Yeah. Everything from like Suckerbrook water quality. I mean, there's any number of capital projects that are out there. Okay. But that's we'll have to go through those in more detail. Yeah, to say that may be helpful that before we get to January, if we could just outline what they are and what their needs are, you know. Mm -hmm. And they they actually, you know what? Let me just there's a section in the budget on yeah, capital okay. projects. Okay. That's actually, I was just gonna say the budget has a report <laughs> for it. Okay. What page is that in there? Just a second, I'll tell you. Let me look at the appendix or the index in the front. That would be the easiest way. We actually have a handful we'll be closing before the end of the year. Cybersecurity wrapped up as well as the um, invasive species at Onanda. Page 26. So, which page 26? <laughs> well, yeah, left side so, 26 or right side? No, so it's bottom 26. <laughs> not left, not side. 26. Actually, really, the whole list of them is actually on page 28. So, it's okay. one tw 28 of 137, the lower okay. right corner. And so you Thank can you. see all of them are listed here in the purpose gateway signs, infrastructure, uptown, local government records. That's one of the ones I think is going to close, right? Mm -hmm. Cybersecurity. Yeah, that'll close. Pendleton PDR is closing. That's complete. Water District Booster Station. That's complete. That'll close. You know, but they're they're all here. Okay. So the last number, that's chronic, chronologically, is thirty nine. That doesn't mean we have 39 open. No, it does not. There's okay. one, That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. So each they, they jump there's, around. Right. There's jump 11 around. currently open. Some of those will be closing. At least probably three of those will close, and you're adding three. Yeah. So you'll have about a dozen. They're starting in 26, basically. Yeah. Yeah, we have, like you'll notice, Sucker Book is a eight. Team that's been open for several years. So we assign them chronologically, but they close and open in different time frames. Okay. Perfect. And then when they close, the money goes back into the, if there's a balance, a positive balance left, that goes back into the general fund. To the fund that funded the capital project. Depends. So like the Canada consolidated one that would we'll go back into that. Right now. All right. Any other questions? No. Nope. Yep. Thank you for coming. Uh, 48, 248, 249 are highway vehicles. Um, 
Anybody has any questions or comments on those? We don't have Jim to talk about it, but he, I mean, if we can get them. <laughs> well, that was the thing, right? He, he had talked about this, I know, and he had talked a little bit about it at um, the budget workshop and at Public Works. The big thing is there's going to be a date coming open. I think it's the end of October, beginning of November. And we get a day. We get a day. And some of these big equipment vehicles, it's going to be an 18 month lag mm -hmm. time. We won't actually see them until 2024. So, okay. yep. Anything else on that one? So, like the, the, the 248 resolution, for instance, you see it's actually very vague. And that is because we'll take delivery of it in 2024. And so it'll go against the 2024 budget, right. which obviously we haven't created. So <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. All right. Anything else on those? Uh, 51. I don't know that we need to touch on for this, but any questions real quick on that one? Um, scenic view shed over life. We also that's have setting public hearing that right? one yeah. two foot for and then next one setting the hearing for yeah. um, incentive zoning uh, dental program health insurance. So this is standard um, just to renew our dental insurance for the new year. Um, it did go up. The premiums went up about three percent, which again is standard. It's not bad. Um, and then there's attachments for this too. If you were interested yeah. in looking at the comparison of last year to this year. Okay. Thank you. And. Then, uh, 20, I don't know, I have the number on this one. Oh, 254. 254. Yeah, well, I guess. Well, no, no there's, there's, there's a missing. Yeah. It'd be 255. I don't know why it's missing there. 254 is the acceptance is Ed, is of the engineer development. 254, I know it's not finance, but yeah. let me just touch on that for a quick, quick second. So this is one of the first applications you're seeing them with form-based code. Mm -hmm. They particularly, in this particular situation, they have made sketch plan application. Sketch plan means it still has to follow the same general process. Um, so you see it under sketch plan and there's a rendering attached to your agenda. You can look at all that and everything, but this is not site plan approval. Um, and the form-based code, the way that works is obviously the planning board's the one, the entity that approves these, but the town board gets an opportunity to weigh in whether or not they feel like it's in keeping with the overall intent and they acknowledge it. But because the application is sketch, you're going to see it again when they make application for site. Yeah. So this is just a sketch kind of concept type of application. And like we've talked about before, it's not final approval Correct. or denial. It's just going through the process, right? pushing it down to the next line for review. So that's the, when we talked about creating form-based code, it was saying that projects need to be approved by the town board if they're in the, in the form -based acknowledged code i want to be careful with words okay it's, there's no approval by the town board okay it's acknowledgement okay. so that's this process is the first time we've done this yeah yeah, yeah. let me ask a question is submitting a sketch part of our process or was it something the developer wanted to do it was something they chose to do they have the option of sketch or site but they chose sketch okay. So once this, let's say planning board approves this, what happens then? They'll have to make site plan application. Okay. Well, let's go say, through the more details. Is there a spot where the town board's eyes are on this again? Yeah, under site plan. Okay. They'll it'll come back for site plan acknowledgement. Okay. So we can acknowledge, make comments. <clears throat> yes. But it's not a yes or no. It's a Correct. suggestion. Okay. Right. Eliminate, you know. Correct. Additions, subtractions to whatever their project might be, rather right. than an approval or denial. Could right. I add to that? It's my instinct that the developer is looking for feedback on the sketch so that he can move forward to the next step in the process just as a right. clarification so any feedback would be and the, the planning sure. board tends to have under sketch in-depth conversations at their meetings with the developers about all of that it will also help them to know where we are yep. where we're coming from in any absolute in our thoughts yep all right, 255, which was looks as a win win all the way across. Oh, Lindsay's like jumping out of her seat. Okay, <laughs> caffeinated Lindsay. Any, do you have any comments on this one? You're like super excited. I'm so excited. There's just so many benefits to our residents and just utilizing our parks. Um, it's a win win for everybody. It also costs you less money, less money in the long run. Better, and better offerings, better product, better overall product. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, 
Um, all the attachments are there if you guys wanted to look over if you have questions or anything. Um, but just to quickly recap, I mean, currently our programs are six weeks long. Next year, they would be the full 10 weeks. So when school is out of session, there will be camp for 10 weeks at Onanda and eight weeks at Outhouse versus the six weeks currently. Um, hours of operation will be extended from, um, it originally was 9.30 to 3.30. It'll have extended programming from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. for more coverage. Um, and they're also gonna provide lifeguards during um, camp, while well, camp is in session. So again, that's a huge savings for the town. We don't have to staff that, the Y will take care of that. And then in addition to that lifeguarding aspect, we also are forming a relationship with the aquatics director to host trainings and no cost to the town. So that will help with our Excellent. public with beach our, opening. With our lifeguard and getting our lifeguards up and ready. That's so. awesome. Do we anticipate some fewer staff members then for the summer because of this? No, I don't anticipate that at all. Um, we will still operate Onanda as we normally would. The only thing that changes is during the camp hours, um, the YMCA will be um, staffing their counselors. And if anyone who was previously a counselor for the camp, they can apply to the Y for that. And then lifeguards as well will be able to hire the same amount of staff as before. We can just extend our hours for. Are we still doing the craft thing at um, schoolhouse or no? Uh, like a like a kitty camp yeah, type thing. Camp. So that was <clears throat> through the city, and that was more of um, a person coming in for a couple hours to do that. Right now, we don't have plans for that. We're going to keep our focus on Onanda and outhouse locations for right now. But then there's always the opportunity in the next couple of years, or even in 2024, to expand the program. Okay. May I ask a quick mm -hmm. question? Um, how was this collaboration initiated? Well, there, <laughs> we had some big ideas. So we've been exploring different options for summer camp. Um, you did know, we reach out to the Y though? We did, oh, yes. Great. Especially That's... with their new location going in so close to Outhouse uh -huh. Park. We saw a mutual um, connection there versus That's trying great. to compete with each other. Mm -hmm. You know, we're serving the same community and, you know, instead of working against each other, let's work together. And they were thrilled and very receptive. It, it really started out that a lot of credit goes to Jenny Clark. Mm -hmm. Jenny had reached out and uh, asked for a meeting with me relative to Motion Junction and the Y. And it was during that meeting, that first meeting where we were talking about that, that the whole concept came up. Why just limit it there? Why not broaden it? That's great. It's, yeah. It's not very exciting. I can see you're still excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> and the, so it should allow us to have better staffing at the parks. We'll spend time. less on lifeguards. Right. We'll spend less on lifeguards, but we'll have our staff there. There yes. will be YMCA staff there. So we'll have more adult presence, if you will. Absolutely. Um, It'll be a little bit more for the residents, right? But the offerings are a heck of a lot better and they're oh, yes. a lot more expanded. So they're definitely, the value is greater, in my opinion, versus what the cost, you know, the increase, minimal increase, the value is there. And there's always options too for our residents to take advantage of the city programs, which they're still going to run right. outside of their parks too, if that right. doesn't happen to work right. for them. So there's still offerings. There's still those options, options yeah. but as far as the value, no, this is great. So thank you for putting that together. Any other questions or comments on that? Um, okay, 56. I don't think 256. So it's, it's a just, grant. It's just the grant funding it's for the the live edge on the yes. plows but it, i mean that's super cool actually i was just talking to jim about um potentially putting live edges on the parks vehicles too because really with the live edges the the little blades are on springs we we're talking about this at public works on friday and think of it like the road or or even like something flat like say my phone is flat right and the road's not flat so it's going to miss parts mm -hmm. having these live edges with all these little springs allows the plow blade edging to act more like a squeegee and, and push more water off. And so because of that, using less salt. So we tried it last year and this really expands that for a grant program with Kevin. So it's super cool. It's, it's really an environmentally friendly approach that makes a lot of sense and actually is gonna save us money. It'll save us money with the salt that we'll have to put down, definitely. Okay, 57. Should we make Kate talk about this one? Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's staring at the screen. No, gotta choose way to give she it just, away. Maybe she's muted. Uh, she might yeah. not be able to unmute herself. I don't know if she can or not. She might not be able to. No, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I believe you, but we'll have to take your word for it. 
Is that set up so they can unmute? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I can. I was just giving oh, you a hard time. You're on the <laughs> no, I was just giving you a hard time. This just makes it official with the with the town board. Y'all know that I've been uh, working on school, so this just puts everything in my official position as part time finance clerk. All right. Well, any other questions? We're glad to still have you around part time. Likewise, I'm glad to still be a part but, uh, of this. Look at Jess you shaking her head up and down. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. No more than you. <laughs> Jess is doing a great job, though, getting up to speak. Kate's been doing a lot yeah, of Yeah, Absolutely. Time. Agreed. And also, so. Great addition to the team. So happy to have her. We're so glad we get to see you at the meetings. <laughs> Uh, 50, 258, there's no money associated, but it's deputy assessor uh, appointing Michelle, which allows her more responsibilities in, the, in that role, which will be a benefit all the way around, you know, better service for the residents. Uh, any questions or <clears throat> nothing on that? Uh, stormwater and then uh, surety. So, Easy, right? Should, could, yeah, considering we've had a few more pages. <laughs> yeah, considering I've called, you know, we've had three meetings in the last who knows who knows what. So yeah, any other questions on the, on uh, on the agenda? Are you going to do the minutes separately or all together? Um, yeah, I forgot to do the minutes last time. For the are you talking the minute approval of? No, you did them at the September meeting. But I didn't do. We had minutes. Show. We had minutes at our last meeting. Oh, I forgot. No, they weren't on the agenda for approval. Okay. So, right. No, you didn't miss them. So am I going to do the minutes all together? Are you going to do one them? motion, or are you going to do a motion for each? Oh, side? yeah. Sorry. And I where was do you want to do for them? a second? <clears throat> well, no, we'll, we'll do them at the end. No, we'll block them. You yeah. Block? yeah, let's okay. just block the minutes. Why not? We don't block very much. We've got three of them. That's enough for a block. In our discussion on capital projects, one of the capital projects is ARPA funds, project number 33. And I know, Terry, I don't know if you were going to talk about it now or on Monday, but Planning Public Works meeting talked about it. <clears throat> yeah, we, we did discuss it last week that, you know, we had indicated we would uh, devote 750000 of the uh, $1.15 million to the County Road 28 sewer project. And uh, so that leaves us roughly, what, 375, some number like that. So the question was where to put that. The uh, Public Works Committee uh, recommended that we use uh, that money or at least the bulk of it for the County Road 28 sewer project. The end. The end? <laughs> I'll, give you, I'll give you a dollar. I'm, I'm done speaking. <laughs> Uh, I was hoping we can allocate that to park improvements, correct? Mm -hmm. I was hoping I was hoping to allocate some of that to the Ananda to jumpstart our uplands improvements. This was I. So I think we can come to some sort of consensus on a dollar amount. Um, but so I it, I mean, that was another choice, of course. Yeah, I mean, I think we can we can talk and see. Maybe if you can, I know we talked before, Lindsay, about the the what we had the presentation cabins uh, trail road up there. Maybe we could do a phase one and kind of see what to get a couple cabins, a couple of the newer cabins up there. Kind of what we'd be looking at. Well, we have we can we can certainly get particulars, but the easiest way to do that would honestly be. I can't remember another capital, capital project, project for Ananda and just allocate it would be nice for that 1.1 million dollars essentially is what it is for us to create our budget for the actually we could just roll it right into the same budget what am I saying uh in the ARPA fund budget mm -hmm. yeah. um we could well we can talk about that but anyway so it would be nice to move it over there and then create a budget so that we know what we're spending it on and then the other thing is like the County Road 28 project, we're not going to see any real bills for that until 2024. No. So right. we could take that money and we could invest it, right. at least now, but it's allocated <laughs> and that way it's not hanging out in our general fund, throwing off our fund balance. And yeah, stuff that would be and create a. So you're saying adjusting the 33? Yeah, maybe we create 33? a budget for 33 that includes County Road, County Road 28, 28 and, and Onanda, Onanda with a right. appropriation. Yeah. So anyway, we'll work on it. Because I'd love so. to see just to start, just to jumpstart. So because we didn't, 
I like the idea of some of it going towards parks and some of it going towards that outdoor recreation mm -hmm. and, and not all for the infrastructure, you know. So if we can get a couple up there and increase the capacity of the driveway or whatever improvements we might need, <coughs> I think that would be fantastic. That's, that's fine. I At this point, Greg is working on uh, putting together the, uh, the report, which would indicate to the residents in that County Road 28 area, just exactly what their costs would be going forward. So, you know, the indication we had at that one meeting, uh, everybody there was enthusiastic about it, considering the, you know, what the cost was going to be. And that was based on some number like 750,000. So yeah. until we, until we really gauge the, you know, the, the feeling of the whole area, we won't really know whether it's going to go ahead or not. So, I mean, personally, I wouldn't be opposed to splitting it up, you know, so. And I don't think it's, a, for those people on 28, I don't think that it was a big deal breaker. It'd be not a whole huge difference, oh. an extra four. They were at it pretty much at any, a lot of them at most amounts. They were, they just wanted it done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then just so everybody's aware too, the 23 budget does have money in it for some of those improvements, like the roadway and all that stuff. Jim Lindsay and I met last week and um, we talked about timeline, even jump starting that early in the year while the ground is hard and frozen. You're talking about the Onanda mm -hmm. road change? And Highway will be doing all that work. The nice thing for us, generally speaking overall, looking at a broad perspective is Highway will build parks for all of their time and labor. That money will then go back to the highway, which allows us to reinvest that money in highway again. For us. So it's it's a win-win for yeah. the same dollar. Yeah. Yeah, that would be nice to get that done before yeah. things the roadway at least before things start picking up and then right. order a couple cat we pick out the interior design. Yes. So, so you've already been designing <laughs> cabins, haven't you? Oh, yeah, obviously. Yes. <laughs> Color <laughs> schemes and everything. Go ahead. The plants are gonna hang outside of it to make it look so nice. <laughs> yeah, that'll be well. Maybe I'll take a field trip to. Uh, You're gonna stay there first, right? You gotta try it out. I'll have, you have to try it out. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We have to get all the bugs out of it. Not, not literal They're bugs, right. but, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> figure get all the figurative bugs out first. Not literal bugs. No, we want to test it out on someone. We'll, we'll put up okay, a sign that yeah. says Jared Simpson. Yeah, and then you'll put yeah. <laughs> put it on Facebook. Hey, everybody, go to an on tonight night for a late night <laughs> party. And a late night party. <laughs> All right, so I think that's about it. Anybody else have any questions or comments? Anything to bring up? I have a quick plug since we have the whole town board here. Yeah. On Saturday morning at 10 a.m., the cemetery committee is going to finish cleaning up Hun Cemetery, the landscape um, along the fence line. If anybody's interested in joining us, you guys are all welcome to attend. Again, it's 10 a.m. on the cemetery on Saturday. You're bringing Excellent. coffee and donuts, right? I will have coffee and donuts. You got it. <laughs> yep. What budget line is that coming out? 881400. You don't have to ask. Yeah. Seriously, you had to ask that question. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, everybody. Uh, motion to adjourn. So moved. Um, second. All right. All right. Meetings adjourned. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. <clears throat>